Hello YouTube, it's Central H here. Welcome to episode 21 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. So, uh, in this episode we're going to talk about the next important part of our tokamak reactor, which is the toroid magnet. This is what guides the plasma, uh, contains the plasma as the, uh, through the ring um, as the solenoid bends it and uh, wraps it around. I believe that's how it works. Anyway, so uh, you're going to need a lot of, a couple of, uh, quite a few of these. Um, in order to uh, craft a toroid magnet, we're going to use a work table, and we're going to need four magnetic cores, one hysteresis ring, and four of these coolant packs. All right, and we can make those coolant packs quite simply. Uh, it's only six steel ingots, a liquid pipe, and a glass pane for each. So it is a bit of an investment in steel, since you need four of these for each uh, magnet. Now to help us place these down and uh, build our reactor properly, we're going to take a look at the Tokamak Blueprint Highlighter. Okay, It's crafted with a redstone torch and a blue fluorite crystal, so it's super simple. It's just here to help you lay out your reactor. So it goes uh, in the center. So I had to break a few blocks in my uh, solenoid hub in order to get it all lined up properly. But when I place it here, you'll notice it creates this ghost outlines. and. Uh, the ghostly red outline is the uh, where the solenoid goes. All right, so I know I have that lined up, and then um, these blue ghost outlines—we got a little some lighting issues going on—are where the plasma injectors go. And we'll talk about those later. And uh, the yellow ones is what we're interested in now, and this is where the actual toroid magnets go. So, um, as you can see, they're 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 in line with the solenoid. And uh, you have to place these in a certain uh, way. So in order to place these, first what we need to do is we need to place a block right in the center bit, you see, uh, where it's flat there on the, the, the yellow um, ghost image, the wireframe. Place a block there because when you place the toroid magnet down, uh, the block, the, the, the toroid magnet block itself is this, the exact center, but there's like a block's worth of magnet on all sides. It's basically a 3x3 three three structure where the block you're placing is the center. And I don't actually know if this is going to work because it's sort of uh, cutting into the floor. I don't know if that's going to prevent the reactor from working, but I'll ask Rick, and if so, we'll have to shift everything up the block, which wouldn't be much of an issue, really. So what we want to do is we want to go around the reactor, placing these down, where, uh, according to the go uh, wireframes. I'm only going to do a quarter of it uh, at the moment. So we want to place these. And you'll notice they always place in the same direction, but the wireframe shows something quite a bit different. All right. Now that these are placed, we can go ahead and we can get rid of these blocks that we had to place in order to place them. So we'll get rid of these blocks and then we'll take a look at how to properly align these. Because the uh, the yellow wireframes are showing you the precise alignment that each of these need to be in in order for this thing to work. So this one is fine, it's, it's perfectly lined up with the wireframe. This one is not, so we want to right click on this with our screwdriver and it'll rotate it. You'll notice that there's like a white uh, uh, circle that briefly appeared. Um, what's important is that the uh, toroid magnet is perfectly aligned with the uh, the yellow wireframe. So we want to whack this one twice, and we want to whack this one three times, and we'll whack this one four times to line it up, and then this one five times, actually one more time. See, you want it to be nice and perfectly lined up. And we'll whack this again, and one more time. Oops, that was too much. If you hold shift and right click, it'll go the other direction. So you can go either direction, it doesn't matter. There. So now this quarter of the uh, of the ring is properly aligned. So we'll show you that again. We'll place our blocks so that we can actually place our uh, magnets. And we'll place our toroid magnets. break the blocks. And we will rotate them. Well, hold shift and rotate this time. This will work better. Two. 
one, two, this has been three. So let's just go with that. Oops. I like that you can uh, rotate them in either direction. Helps when you make a mistake. And what we end up with is uh, something like this. So you'll notice all of these are properly aligned. The wireframe wraps probably is this one. Yeah, this one, it's right. Is it right? No, it's not right. That's the wrong way. Black it again. There we go. Always double and triple check your toroid magnets. You have to make sure that these are properly aligned. If any one of these is even is one click out of alignment, the when you fi if you fire this thing up, the plasma stream will shoot out the side and blow a hole through whatever it hits. So this is definitely a point of time where you definitely want to go through and look at this and make totally sure that you have it uh, placed properly. Let's do the whole thing here. It's not going to take very long. This is a bit of a shorter episode just because uh, the uh, toroid magnet is not as complex as the solenoid. But you do need to be very careful. The last thing that you want is runaway plasma. There we go. We have our toroidal magnets set up. Now, there's more to these magnets than that. Uh, in order to get these things to actually work, you do have to use a. Um, let me go ahead and grab it. A van to grab generator. Well, you're going to need more than one of these things. Okay. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab a. Level gear, and I'm going to grab an industrial coil, infinite power version, lovely little lever. Come on. <clears throat> and I believe you have to go underneath these in order to do it. So we're just going to pick one. It, it doesn't matter which one you do. I'm going to use the middle one on this side just because it, it actually. Oh, it's underneath the pillar. Pillar. So we won't do that one. We'll go over it and do this one. But once again, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now we can see the space underneath our uh, twirled ring. We can go ahead and place a Van de Graaff generator right next to it. Um, this should work. Bevel gear, we want the output to be up. Alright, we'll place our industrial coil. Rotate it around. Oops, that was the right way. Okay. Um, Got to place another block for my lever. Lever goes there. Vandergraaff requires how much power? Check. I think Vandergraaff generators are in the rotary craft. 
You can check my uh, Vandegraaff generator tutorial for this. If you're not a silly person like me. Is it under utility? It's not under utility. I always forget which one these things are under. It's not under right either. Is it under weaponry? There it is. Vandegraaff generator. Oh, I don't think it actually matters. You just have to give it a certain amount of power. Anyway, we'll just, I don't know. How much do you think we should do? 32, 512, well, I don't know. I don't know if I even have this set up right. I obviously don't have it set up right because we'll end up ha what's supposed to end up happening is that stuff will start bouncing. Okay, since there are no sparks coming off the Van de Graaff, I can only assume I have it placed it properly. So we're gonna place it there instead. Shaft. Doesn't matter what kind, I just use a bedrock one. Yeah, I'll have to ask Rake about this. I know that you have to use Van de Graaff generators in order to power the toroid magnets, but I guess I, I don't exactly know how to do it. But I'll get back to you on that and we'll have another video. So or we'll mention it in the next video, because uh, the next episode we're going to be talking about these things here. So anyway, um, barring my uh, silliness, I hope you have uh, learned a bit from this video. Um, let's just place this back where it goes. Rebuild our solenoid, because I had to break it a little. Well, the ideal thing you should do is place your uh, token map blueprint thing first, <laughs> and then start building. So anyway, that's Toroid Magnets. Uh, in the next, at the beginning of the next episode of this, I will let you know uh, about the Van Der generators and how you have to place them. But anyway, um, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, this weekend is going to be a bit hectic for me. I won't, I'm going to be gone all day on Saturday. I'm going to try and get Space Engineers up uh, and scheduled so it'll be up then. But uh, if it's not there, that, that's why. Uh, but anyway, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.